you guys see that? Confirm this! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to make a mini locket. I know, sounds cool, right? Okay, so these are the materials. So you need um, tin foil. You can make it kind of like, a, like as this big. You don't need too much of it though. And then a Sharpie. You don't really need it, but you can. And then you want something like this. Something like this. You can just make it at home. Just draw it, cut it out, and then, yeah. Okay? And then you need um this. Well, these. These are just uh, tissue paper. Just cut it up. So, yeah, you just need, you need those. You need that. And then scissors. Uh, some pliers. And then... Uh, this, it's basically just a kebab skewer, that's all you basically need. And then, candle, and a pen. So first, you need your tin foil, see? Okay. So what you want to do is kind of just line this up, whatever. I like to put on the ends because there's less work to cut out, see? Okay, now, you want to take your pen or sharpie, whatever you, you want. And then yeah, you sorry. open it. No, I'm okay. And then you just want to draw over it. Okay, so now you can just cut it out with your how you uh, traced it. And then you're going to need some matches, okay? So now matches, you know, you just need a few. I wouldn't say you need a lot, but just a few. And then, and then so you take your scissors again, and now you just want to cut it to the edge, just before the red starts. So you want it to be kind of like this, and then just cut it. You want to try to catch it too. Catch it, I get you a ball. No, I'm okay. Okay, you just want to catch it, so, see, like this, see? Like that, there's not a lot of wood on there, I think, and then this wood, you can just throw that away. Oh, you, you wanna, you wanna keep basically like a, mm, like three fourths of, of the kebab to take, uh, up the space. And then the other, like one fourth, you wanna put in your, uh, your match thing. How I, and then before, it's about to, uh, Roll up, I, I put in my match, and then just in case if I want another one. Oh, and you still want a little bit of space. See, I'm just putting it like that. Just still some space. I'm just going to put in the second one, like that. Now, just want to roll it. Now, when you're in your, um, like, third or second roll, uh, you remember the the space that, that you left? You just want to press it and then fold it. Fold it a tiny bit. You don't need to fold it a lot. And then, look, see, I kind of made a little fold right there. So, yeah, and then you just want to roll it up. I roll it like this. I just do extra just in case. And then you get like this, something like this. And you know the end, you want to just squish it with my, I usually squish it with my hand, I just get the other side, and then you get something like this. So now we're going to head down to the basement to show you guys, so yeah. Okay, so guys, before we head on to anything else, make sure you have an adult supervision with you, or just an adult, anyone, your sister maybe, your brother, yeah. Okay, so now we're going to light up this uh, candle and you guys can do it in your basement or you could just do it um, outside either one's good you remember your rocket that you just made so just double check that that your rocket can kind of just go go on out because if it's too hard then then it won't go out oh you saw that okay so now as you can see this it didn't work it's a failure but that happens all the time, honestly. It's okay. Just make a few more, and then it should be okay. Oh, that's scary. 
they don't put some time and you can just keep this and then just show them and just show it to them and then they'll be impressed. And, and you can tell them that, that you learned it from me and to subscribe to my channel too to know about to know about more more experiments like this. But you guys should subscribe to my channel. Guys, also don't give up. Even if your um, rocket blows up a few times, like mine even blows up, but it's okay because you never know. When when you do this, your um, your rocket might go fifty yards or something like that. So don't give up. Did you guys see that? Good progress. Honestly, this is just my third time of seeing something go that far, so I'm as shocked as you guys, so i never seen one go, go too far, so I, I'm just like you guys. Okay, you need a supervision just because, uh, just, just because this is fire, you never know, it did, my, my luggage did blow up, so you do need supervision, so any other experiments? You you do need supervision. Something like this, like fire, um, hammers, um, scissors, something like that. You you need a you need a a parent, someone, older sister, older brother. So yeah, and that's it for today's experiment, folks. Bye. See you next time. Bye.